After World War II, Muslim immigrants, including Albanians, moved to Victoria and discovered a state lacking Islamic infrastructure. By the 1960s, the only mosque in Victoria was an Albanian mosque in Shepparton, which is located 200 kilometers away from Melbourne. The situation inspired Albanians in Melbourne to build their own mosque. Here I am standing in front of the first and oldest mosque in the city of Melbourne. This mosque was built by the Albanian Muslim community back in 1969, which became known as the Albanian Mosque. This mosque is listed on the cultural heritage of Victoria and played a crucial role in shaping the development of Islam in Australia. Yeah, the first uh, purpose-built mosque in Melbourne. As I said, they purchased the property in 1963. And for the next five years, they used the old house to pray in until they collected more money. And then they demolished the old house, which was known as Carlton House in 1969. They started building the purpose-built mosque beginning of 1969 and it was completed by the end of 1969. For everyday prayers, there could be uh, up to 50, 100 worshippers. Today it's uh, Juma, and there was probably you know, four or 500 worshippers today. In the southeastern suburbs of Melbourne, there is another Albanian mosque. It holds the distinction of being one of the oldest mosques in Australia. The present Muslim population in Australia is approximately 800,000 out of 26 million people. Muslims have settled across Australia and there are more than 290 mosques and musolas across the country and this mosque is one of the oldest. Although the opening of this mosque took place in 1985, its history traces back to the 1960s. In the late 60s and throughout the 1970s, 100 young families migrated from North Macedonia to Australia. They had young families, didn't speak any English, however, they had a vision of constructing a mosque. So they pulled their resources and after 10 or 15 years and many setbacks, uh, they actually accomplished this mosque, alhamdulillah. Then we have some students, Hafiz students, who lead the Tarawih prayer. We have a Sri Lankan student, we have an Albanian student. Sheikh Zuber Ali is from South Africa. Then we have an Albanian Imam doing the Witr prayer. So really, this, this masjid, it's very multicultural. Um, everyone feels welcome here. Um, and it's reflective of the broader Melbourne community. And this creates harmony within the congregation here and the broader community. Alhamdulillah. Meanwhile, in the western suburbs of Melbourne, there exists a mosque of seen by the Indonesian Muslim community. So the history of Masjid Baitul Ma'mur, uh, the property uh, was uh, initially purchased back in 2013. Uh, it's just a house. So the uh, community of the Indonesian Muslim community uh, in this area, they think that they need to have uh, a place of worship. Uh, or masjid, so they decided to purchase the uh, original uh, building. So with those limited number of people, they started the fundraising and they managed to uh, pay off the, the, the loan uh, in 2016. Apart from being a place of worship, this masjid is also a community centre for many Indonesian Muslims in Australia. In this place, Islamic and Indonesian values are maintained. During um, Friday prayer, we could have, uh, as you can see today, we could have more than uh, 200 people praying here. Uh, during um, Great Iftar, we have more than 300 people. And we have more and more jama'ah coming and, and praying at this mosque. And from all uh, of the communities around the area, from all nations, from the Africa, from the Middle East, from the uh, India, Pakistan, Bangladesh, and, and the ASEAN countries. In response to the growth of congregation, the Indonesian Muslim community of Victoria is planning for the expansion of Masjid Baitul Makmur as part of the future mosque development. And the fundraising for the first phase has begun. Yes, uh, Alhamdulillah, tonight we uh, did our fundraising for the expansion of Masjid Baitul Ma'mur and we managed to get more than 150,000 Australian dollars. With Islam being the second largest religion in Australia, 
the increasing number of mosques in the country underscores the significant growth of Muslims in Australia. This is Muhammad Andri reporting for C Today, Melbourne.